Welcome to a little oddity. I received this combination padlock from Logmania, buddy, thank you very much for the lock, and it came in a locked up state without a code. I was, however, to figure out the right code with an unusual decoding method, but then after opening the lock, closing it, and trying the same code again, it didn't want to open. So, <laughs> stay tuned and I will show you the method that I used for decoding this lock and for the explanation why the same code on this lock is sometimes not the right code. When I received this lock I tried to decode it with the usual methods. First I pulled on the shackle to cause the internal mechanism to get tensioned and to cause the wheels to bind, but there was no change of resistance, no matter how hard I pulled on the shackle. So I was thinking that this lock is not susceptible for the usual pull picking method. Then I used my thin decoding knife, my feeler gauge, and tried to feel something in between the wheels. Usually um, you feel a flat spot on the inner wheel, but there was nothing. Yeah, then I tried to poke in, trying to tension the bolt here with my feeler gauge, but no luck. So I had no idea what to do in order to get this lock decoded, until I had a closer look to what the tolerances here, the bad tolerances reveal, and you can actually a little bit peek inside and see what's going on. And I will quickly show you a close-up of what I found. If you poke in between two wheels and try to lift up one, you can look inside and here at the eye of the third wheel we can see something made from metal. It's shiny and there's a red dot <laughs> on the top. I don't know, don't know if you can make it out but if you really look closely, you can see a red dot. And it's only on the I and not on any other letter. And so you can adjust the position of the wheels so that all the letters that have the metal thingy with the red dot underneath are aligned. And if you do so, you will find the right code. Let me adjust the letters correctly. It was O, C, I, O, and U, and it opens. So that was the trick to decode this lock. You have to peek inside and look for the red dot. <laughs> and now as we have opened the lock we can take it apart, at least partially. And I can show you um, what the red dot actually is. So we can pull this cap off after turning it. And then we can disassemble it further by taking out the wheels and here are the inner wheels um, they have three peaks three prongs that go in the cutouts here of the outer wheel and one of those <laughs> has um, painted is painted red so I think this is the code position that needs to be aligned in order to unlock the lock and so you can adjust the number um, according uh, to your wish. But this also gives a hint for someone peeking inside what the right combination is. So let's pull them out <laughs> one by one so we can look at the naked lock so to speak. Yeah, that's how the lock looks like. These are the inner wheels. 
think you cannot take it apart further because here is a pin and that would need to be drilled out. But yeah, there is an internal mechanism that um, allows this ball bearing here to uh, get pushed inwards when we pull on the shackle when the right combination is entered. But this also tells me that it's theoretically susceptible for pull picking method. And then I, after uh, understanding this, I tried to really strong pull on the shackle and I thought I would feel a difference in resistance, but it was really marginal only. And so I think in a real world situation, this is actually not um, susceptible for uh, yeah, pull picking method. And also I cannot push it in, so it's not spring loaded, it's uh, not shimmable, I believe. Yeah, so now comes the question why the same code is sometimes not the same code. And that's something we can understand when we look at the outer wheels. Um, I messed it up, but we will look at the outer wheels one by one. We can see here all the letters nothing special. How about this wheel? Oh, look at that, there is an O and there is another time an O. And there are two U's. There is a U and there is another U. And here is a U and there is another U. And an O and another O. And how about that? We have an O and an U and another O and a U. U, O, O, U. Very strange that they have the same letters twice on one wheel. U, O, O, U. So that means that when you write down the code like this, it was O, C, I, O, U. This is actually um, not unique. It uh, can open the lock, but it's uh, not uh, guaranteed to open the lock because there are two positions um, where you find a U, two positions of the O, and also here, two positions of the O. So pretty interesting. Not sure if this uh, was done on purpose. Well, actually, I think it was done on purpose, but it um, introduces um, an interesting side effect that if you note the code, it might actually trick someone out who tries to steal your code and open up the lock because uh, it might not work. <laughs> anyway, that was a little, uh, it was quite some fun with this lock, um, a little journey that I, uh, that I did on decoding it and trying to find out why the same code didn't work after the second attempt. Yeah, Log um, Logmania, thank you very much for the lock and everybody else, thanks for watching and happy picking and decoding. Cheers and bye-bye.